as high as the birds are. We are. Look at the feather. This is clearly a Bigfoot camp. We are going to Seattle today on, hey, hey, no bark. No bark. <laughs> we're going to Seattle today on Charlie, but we're taking Chuck to a place to have the DPF looked at to see whether it needs to be replaced. This could be like the really big expensive, probably will be the really big expensive repair on our 2016 F-350 with 231,000 miles. <laughs> it's probably a time. Probably. But. So we're dropping Francis off France. at a doggy daycare with Rover. Rover. Yeah. Rover. And then we're dropping the truck off and then we're heading over to Seattle to see a sister of a friend who is soon to be a friend. Yep. Enjoy the ride. over there it was amazing the weather was perfect um, it had been really hot here the last like five or six days like in the 105 106 right. and so we were looking forward to actual ride we're gonna go through this one known pass Squ it's it's like an Indian name it is Squal Squ Squamish Squal Squalawi okay Google. we will <laughs> how do you skate Squalawi pass school halloween pass yeah, okay so we're no. in the school halloween <laughs> okay so where is it i i figured it out yesterday oh. i literally looked it up snoqualmie snoqualmie where are we and what are we doing we're in the I don't know if that's how you say it, but C L E E L U F. I don't. I missed the sign. I go to the bathroom. You what? A little bit cheaper than the truck, huh? A little, like a lot. Nine dollars. Like we, we went across. When we went cross country, I don't know if we ever paid more than four dollars. And that was in nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Okay, I'm on to that. So, we were really looking forward to going through the Snoqualmie Pass uh, because it was up in the mountains, and it was true. It was. A couple degrees cooler. I rode um, with a coat the whole way, and so it was, it was good. Uh, lunch was great. 
So we went to the Magnuson Cafe and Brewery, which was adorable. We have a few pictures of that. We it was just, like an outdoor thing on the water, yeah. which a lot of things in Seattle was on the water, but it was like an outdoor thing on the water. And we were there, like everyone goes up there and they sit outside. We had just, you know, we were in-, in Full we, gear. Yeah, we left our gear at the motorcycle, but we were in jeans. We were and, hot. Yeah, it was a hundred degrees. It was and over a so, hundred. So we went and found the table inside. Yeah. Uh, it still wasn't very air conditioned, but it was decent. No, it was fine. Yeah, it was so fine. We, we were there for a little while. Yeah, it was a really cute place. Getting there, we ended up, we didn't even feel like taking a toll with the toll road, which we should have. Um, we ended up getting on I-5, which if you're familiar with I-5 in Seattle, it's uh, at this point in history is always busy. So we were stop and go for a while, which wasn't very fun on a motorcycle. Yeah, really kind of a dumb thing. And the only, like we can afford a $5 toll, but I was just looking at, we were running a little bit early, which is weird. And, For us. and on a motorcycle, if you have to pull up and take out money, it's just awkward and stuff. So I thought, we well, hadn't I, planned ahead. Yeah. So I just thought, well, let's, uh, let's take the long yeah, way. Take However, the long way, the long way was but because it, of traffic. Right. As long as, well, it was actually way out of the way too. Yeah. But then we, as we were coming up, it's like, yeah, it's just I-5 was red for like four or five miles, like the whole way we had to go. So we did that, went up around and came down. On the way back then, we thought, well, let's do the toll road. Let's skip all that. And so we got money out. I gave it to Wendy. She was all ready. And then it was just... It was a toll by plate, yeah, which was perfect. And duh, yeah. we know that. I don't know why we weren't thinking. It's because we're, we're old and we, <laughs> <laughs> we well, know the new things, but if we don't think about the new things. Yeah, we, we just weren't thinking. Anyway, but on the way back, all that to say on the way back, it wasn't cooler. It was the same. We rode in over 100 degree weather pretty much the whole way home. And so it was, it was pretty hot and exhausting because we did this all in one day. It was a three hour trip over and a three hour trip back just for lunch. And so by the time we were coming through that Go snow, 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 qualmy pass. Um, I'll get that, I promise. Maybe snow qualmy, belfouche. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the time we were going through there, we were we were kind of hot, and so it wasn't as enjoyable coming back. But we were glad we got to go and spend our 37th wedding anniversary over there. Four years ago, we did our 50-day cross-country motorcycle ride, 27 states. We went as far southeast as Key West, as far northwest as Victoria, BC. That was the coolest thing. We rode the ferry over on our motorcycles. Yes. Actually, the first time we dropped our bike on the ferry. That's a whole other story. We can share that sometime. But when we got over to Victoria, rode the ferry, got to Victoria. Oh my goodness, it was so beautiful. And then our friends set us up in this Marriott hotel. So we get there and... First, as we're pulling up, we like we can't get very close to the thing because there's cop cars everywhere, there's security, and the prime minister was actually there doing a thing. And so we're like, wow, the prime minister even shows up for Pretty us. Pretty neat hotel. Pretty neat. Uh, when we went in and we were checking in and he said, okay, uh, yeah, you've been upgraded. He said, you're gonna be yeah, I think very you're pleased. Really gonna yeah, like you're gonna, this gonna be, room. you're gonna really like this room. <laughs> okay, so. So we're getting ready to go into our suite. This was a Victoria. surprise. Look at the door. It's like ginormous compared to all the other doors. Just regular old doors. Our door is ginormous. <gasps> no, wait. Oh. There's stairs. Oh. Oh my! Hi! Oh my goodness! Steve and Judy, do you really think we're going to want to go and explore Victoria? We have a kitchen! I'm speechless! Okay, we are we are gonna go look and see what's going on up here. This happens to be the very top floor. Okay, well I wanna see outside first. Oh, oh, okay. So we're going outside here. Ours, you could actually get out onto the balcony and when we got out there, 
we realized we were the one that had like the balcony you can stand out on. No one else did. In the whole and, hotel. We in had the whole balcony. hotel. <laughs> and so we're standing, we're standing out on our, uh, on our important balcony where the prime minister of Canada <laughs> is downstairs someplace having a press conference. And we were just saying, I wonder, like people are looking at us, looking uh, up, uh, like, I wonder if these people know how important we are. Uh, we were very important. If they didn't. Oh. Oh, okay, so here's the hotel. Yeah, there's birds. We're as high as the birds are. We are. Look at the feather. Look at that feather go. Yeah, we're right up here with the birds. Of course, this is how we live all the time. This isn't nothing new. No. Oh my goodness. This is the upstairs. <laughs> My word, Steve and Jody. Bathroom, oh, that's bath, shower is as big as my bathroom at home. Steve and Jody, you totally outdid Oh my bathroom. goodness, I've never been in anything like this. Steve and Judy, you rock. Gotta understand, we're not these kind of people, and so we walk in, and it was two stories with a two-story window looking out over the the water. Um, yes, Roger, you want to say something about this view that I'm doing right up here? Well, what she's looking at, like you know, the the thing at the very top, like the thing that that only important people get to stay in, like. The one that there is no other room like that at all in the entire hotel. <laughs> That's ours. <laughs> And then when we came back from that, we took the ferry again. Was that a three hour ride? Yeah. Three hour tour. tour. And came back through and then we were working our way east. On 90. Out, yeah, on 90. And, and we, we went through to- Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We went through to that. And so like, I remember that, but like when we came through, it would have been in July uh, and it was really cold. Freezing. This, this is in 2019. It was just cold going through the mountains. And so I, this, this, for this ride, I was a bit nervous we were going to get cold. But I didn't remember the snow caps. All I remembered, because I think in 2019, it, it was just just like this, <laughs> trying to get through we the so passes. Cold. And it was like mountains that are tree, like full of trees and everything. And so that's what I remembered. And, but as we were going across, I'm like, uh-oh, there's like a mountain range, like snow caps, and I didn't remember that there at all. Except when we're talking about being so cold, we did jump off our bikes at that time in 2019. I don't know if you know about Roger, but he's a huge Bigfoot fan. We have Bigfoot's at the door. Yeah. Hold on just a second, because we're filming some stuff, so we'll let you know when we're available, okay? So on the way, on that trip in 2019, on the way on 90 through the pass, we found a park of some sort and paid to get in. And we went and shot footage of him actually finding, I think, Bigfoot in the um, mountains there. This is clearly a Bigfoot camp. Look at this. They felled the tree that way on top of that so they can climb underneath it for a jungle gym. <laughs> I wonder if I can summon them. Oh!
actually... For some reason, the, the Bigfoot experts, they haven't shown interest in it. But driving through, I didn't remember that there were snow caps, and then it was just a beautiful ride. Yeah. A beautiful ride. Coming back as we came toward Yakima. So this, if you haven't been in Yakima, uh, or in central Washington, or in eastern Washington, whatever, it's high desert. It's, uh, it's a lot of, at this time of year, it's just dry. And so they have regular brush fires, and then it fills up the whole valley, Yakima Valley, with, with smoke and, and all that. Uh, which makes for beautiful sunsets and sunrises. But uh, as we were coming back, it was just filled up with smoke and we were riding into and through smoke for probably the last 45 minutes or yeah, so. Yeah, it was crazy. We couldn't find where the source was for that yeah. one. Since we've been here, we've seen three or four fires and saw the sources of those. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, we couldn't find the source. It was just quite big. So yeah. actually, we were, we were glad to get back at that point. Yeah, and as we were coming into through Yakima, it said, uh, 106. We saw something that said 106. So yeah. that was hot. Oh. Oh, did you have fun? Yeah. You look like you had fun. <laughs> like, was, yes, was right? That's been our reminiscing day, and Wednesday was our 37th wedding anniversary. Uh, we got married when we were nine. Yeah. Ugh. Eight, eight, and nine. <laughs> why, why eight? What's, what's the difference between eight and nine? Maybe I was eight and you were nine. Oh, no, that would be disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's, eight, that's eight what's disgusting. Eight is way too young for a nine-year-old. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying these videos. We're enjoying getting out and riding. We've got RV life stuff coming, coming up. up. Well, thanks for watching yeah. our trip. If you would subscribe and like, uh, if you do social media, post it on there, all that kind of stuff, it would just be an encouragement be helpful yeah so thanks for following thanks peace bye i had to blow on it i had to blow <laughs> <laughs>